I just wanted to bring you down here to show you something. Now, this was your grandma's home where I lived as a boy. Here. Uncle Albert, too. And Aunt Alice. And Uncle Tom. And Aunt Charlotte, sometimes. It's a bit run down. It's tiny, Dad. My earliest memory is of my dad going off in 1914 to fight in the Great War. He turned and waved. There was a washing line out then, too. I'd not be four years old. You never saw him again, did you? He was killed, like millions of others. You know what my first memory is? I've not been more than four years old, neither. What's that, love? After the war, this big stranger came to our house and set me on his knee. Mum told me who you were. Come on, we haven't got time for dawdling down memory lane. I've got a bet on we are, Roger, that we're going to get there before train does. <laughs> All right, Uncle Albert, keep your hair on. Hey, aren't you glad we're moving to Bradley? Could be worse. <laughs> And we beat your uncle Albert. <laughs> you must be tired, eh? Are you ready for a cake? Are you all right, are you? You're right, John. Sorry to leave you behind, love. Right, I'm worried. Come on, then, darling. In you go. Say, can I give you a hand with the chair? No, no, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You're all right. Not bad, eh? Be nice when you've got it fettled. You got the key, Dad? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, then. Look, Dad. Proper grass with trees. I told you there would be. Roger and Beverly can play out. <laughs> When's Mum coming? The train should be just arriving, but I can't be doing with the kids underfoot yet. Auntie Bertha are like minding them. Till the novelty wears off. Since the Queen was crowned, does it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get weaving. Mm -hmm. 1954, and we in Great Britain are feeling confident again. When our young Queen was crowned, British pageantry was on parade for all the world to see. New Elizabethans are looking ahead with hope for the future. Our welfare state is caring for a new generation of children. The scars of war are fading. We are recovering from post-war shortages of food and clothes and housing. A new age of plenty, even luxury, is in sight. From now on, there will be no need to scrimp, save and shop with ration books. Rationing is over. We have an appetite for change. Come on, Roger. They've all got real eggs in them. They're not rationed, you know. Real fruit jam and real chocolate. Oh, he's spoiled for choice. <laughs> he's tired after his long journey. What do you say? 
Thank you, Uncle Bertha. <laughs> I can't get used to food lasting all week, not having to count the coupons. I'm going to burn our ration books. We'll have a party. Is it my birthday? Oh, <laughs> bless him. <laughs> Where is it? What can't you find now? Bath rug. It's behind your mum's sewing machine. Can you reach? Hey, what do you think to your own, then? It's awful. Don't tell Dad I said so. He thinks it's been done up a treat and quite recently. That's the trouble. I reckon I'm stuck with it. Oh, well, that's us grown ups, isn't it, Susan? Got no taste, have we? It's clean, I suppose. It just isn't me. Be more your way, Michael. It's no good. I knew this carpet wasn't big enough. And you'll carry a colour in your head, Susan. I'll try. Want a pint of varnish, got surround, quick drying. There's an iron one with just past cinema, near our place. Susan! Put your hat on. Oh, Dad! So I'm pulling it a bit tight. Way to the Hyde Park Picture House. Am I going in the right direction? Ooh, I could, uh... Hey, who's got a plum in her mouth then? Beg your pardon? La di da, la di da, wants to be a picture star. Foreigners. First right, don't get all. I'm sorry I didn't quite catch what you said. Well, wash your ears out. My ears are perfectly clean, thank you. Hey, what do you have to wear a lid for? Stop your brain spilling out. Well, at least I don't wear dead worms in my hair. Susan didn't do it on purpose, Michael. Ruined. Look at it. I'll bray her when I get hold of her. No, I think she'll survive. How old is she? Six weeks. You're not from around here, are you? Yeah, but we're just moving in. Oh, you'll be Susan Brady. I've just met your mum. Be seeing you then. Here's your spare key. Oh. I'll give Thank Roger you. and Beverly the tea when they wake up. Thanks. Oh, here's Susan. Hello. Oh, we've arrived, Mum. <laughs> Hello, Auntie Bertha. Hello, love. Well, we moved in. Hi, Bart. We were stuck in traffic jams all the way. Must be faster by train than by road. With our two bobbing up and down, it felt like all day. <laughs> well, is this a social call? No, I'm running errands. We've time for a cup of tea. Uncle Albert wanted the kettle on first thing. He would. Oh, no, I forgot it. Mum, what if it's boiled dry? Well, I dare say the gas has exploded or the house is on fire, but two grown men might just have heard it whistling. But I couldn't find the whistle. Oh, sorry, let me shift this. We've all been through it. Hello, Mr. Selby. Is it going smoothly? We can't find teapot anywhere. Avril Butterwood. We live across the road in one of the new houses. Welcome to Bradley. Michael Brady. I'm no stranger to Bradley. 
here. I was brought up here. I know your uncle said. He's more than suited is persuading you to move back. Pot of tea? Oh, oh you'd never know. Thanks very much. Hey, I told you'd be all right for neighbours, didn't I? <laughs> I'll miss my friends. They'll be able to come and stop for their holidays. Holidays in Bradley? You're not explored it properly yet. I'm not struck on what I've seen so far. Now, you mark my words. Things are taking a turn for the better. It's a big step for your mum and dad, you know, Susan, buying this house. They could have bought one in London. At a price. You get more for your money up here. I'm sure it's a wise move, but... Shouldn't have sat down. Gone old mopey. <laughs> well, then, keep busy. You run your errands and you'll sleep soundly tonight. You like your bedroom, don't you? Not much. The paint and paper's new, but it's sort of old-fashioned. Do you know what I mean? Is it? Yeah. Oh, dear. I am sorry to hear that, Susan. Oh, you're welcome. No, not too far. Oh, oh. Hang on, it's stuck. Don't go too high. You'll scratch the well, ceiling well, and top bring it back. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, love. Ta-da, love. We'll have to bring it back. No, bring it back. There's a way. window at the back of the If that smashes that, you have to go mental. I've just been seeing your men folk, right? I'll push it to you. You've trapped me foot here. Right, Betty. All right. I'll give you another inch or so this time. Michael? Hello, Uncle Albert. Hello, love. Uh, you have to remember to close this one. Or if there's a through draft, the front door slams. And you could get locked out. out. <laughs> All right, so I should carry you over the threshold. You'll have carried enough over the threshold by bedtime without me as well. Where are the kids? Just luggage office, what do you think? You're getting stuck in, Uncle Albert. Oh, trouble is, there's this bend at top. It's our wardrobe. Didn't you want it? I thought we were getting rid of the junk. I'm not dumping good solid wood. To sell it then, as an antique. It's not as if we're moving into a brand new semi. Shut up! There's no space for it in our room. Unless we move Beverly's cot. She's growing up, old enough to go in with Susan. We could get a new bedroom suite for 99 guineas. <laughs> don't be fooled. Guineas only make it soundless. You don't want modern furniture, John. It's matchwood. That's right. Anyway, we can't afford to buy new. Not with a mortgage to pay off. I'll have to make do with everything second-hand then, won't I? Or utility. Thirty-three Westmore Grove. They're good old houses then, well built. So it's News Chronicle every morning. Radio Times and Picture Post. You'll be living near my sister. This is a modern house though. Walls are paper thin. Every time a baby cries, it wakes the neighbours. <laughs> Mum really wanted a new house, but I quite like the one we've got. Any uh, comics? She says my brother Roger can try the dandy. He's five. Oh, so is our Peter. Why don't you bring your Roger round to play? Hmm. If you know someone, he won't feel so shy when he starts school, will he? <laughs> Roger's not shy. What about you? I'll take Girl magazine, please. <laughs> More your way. It's never gonna go in here in a month of Sundays, Michael. You need any help? If you run short of pocket money, I might put you on a paper round. Do you have gold paper, boys? Why not? As long as they're reliable. Jimmy, can you spare a few minutes? The new people, the Bradys, have a bit of a problem. Oh, hello again. Hello. What's wrong? They need more muscle. They've got themselves in a bit of a mess. At our house. Oh. Sounds like it. Eileen! Can you mind shop? And right in the middle of all of it, your Uncle Albert was asking me if I'd any wax colour cranes. Oh, wax cranes. What does Uncle Albert want cranes for? Stick these to Uncle Albert. Duck! Yeah, but... Ooh, come on, they're running. Catch them all. Come on, let's chase you down. Up we go. Yeah. Whoa! Put kettle on Avril! <laughs> Round the bend. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Albert. Give me a bit. Are you all right, John? Yeah. Lift it up, Jimmy. Oh, my God. Lift. Oh, 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 oh. Lift. Not yet. 
You wait till your dad falls off. Why, what have I done? Well, if you don't know, there's no point in discussing it. It's getting dark and the previous owners have taken all the light bulbs. How mean can you get? We brought ours. So we did. I think we're still afraid there'll be none to buy in the shops. Well, get back to the ironmongers on your bag before they close. We need a kettle, don't we? And stay out of the way. Oh, Mum. And while you're at it, you can buy three hape of the gratitude and half a pound of good manners. See, I don't know. Come we redecorate her bedroom the way she wants it. No, it stays as it is. You and Uncle Albert went to a lot of trouble. I can't let her grow up thinking it pays to be rude. No, but she can't. She normally got it ready specially for her, can she? No, she probably thinks it's our previous owner's left it. She's not an unappreciative little girl, Miss Susan. She's not a little girl, Auntie. She's growing up and wanting too much of her own way. We can not check much to make it suit you. I mean, we can do one wall of different paper, contemporary like, and we can paint furniture white. And we can do ceiling dark blue with gold stars on. <laughs> and she says we've got no taste. That settles it. I've never heard anything so daft. Oh! Ooh. Do you want a plaster? Or is it a spit nanky job? Spit nanky. No damages, see. <laughs> Here she comes, I thought. Miss Toffee knows wobbling on the cobbles and not knowing where she's going. Yeah, we just moved in today. Well, you was doing well to get this far then. Hey, do you reckon you like living here? Happen? In the meantime, I think as a first of June, a happy month. And from Peter Scott, good night, children. James Fisher, good night, children. Elvin Newman, good night, children. And good night, children, everywhere. Now, Beverly doesn't do things by heart, does she? Well, one wall will have to be done again now. Good job I'm a dab on the paper hanging in it, children. Oh, yeah. help. We'll choose. Our taste isn't as bad as all that. Beverly thinks so. See what I mean? Giving cheek, answering back. What are we to do with the younger generation? I'd rather she told us her honest opinion, even if he's not very tactful. She's not old enough to have an opinion. What I'd like to know is, who was Tom fool enough to give our Beverly a box of wax cranes and no drawing paper, as if I didn't know? <laughs> How did you want that ceiling, children? Dark blue with little stars. Ah, oh. well, I'm not risking it yet. You may change your mind. Anyway, Beverly hasn't scribbled on the ceiling. I'm sure I can arrange that for you if you like, Michael. Any more mischief from you, Uncle Albert, and we're moving back to London. Now then, whose turn is it? Signals are at the door. Pull that button out, Roger. Push it back, push it in, that's it. Off we go. Grab the next press. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh,